What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking this video out. My name is Eli with 8042 and in this video I'm going to be going over how to synchronize audio uh, and video in Adobe Premiere Pro as well as multiple camera angles. All right, so if you have two clips lined up and you want to synchronize them, and select them both, um, right click and come up and press synchronize. Now, um, in this case, synchronize uh, is blacked out. I cannot press synchronize, right? So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that. The first thing you can do is highlight the tracks that you're looking to synchronize on the left hand side, all right? So I'm going to turn them and make them blue by clicking on them. Now I right click and look, I have synchronize option available. I'm going to go ahead and press synchronize, making sure that the audio um, circle is highlighted, not the clip end or clip start. And then um, the second way of troubleshooting this, if it doesn't synchronize, is to change the track channel. So I can try one to start with, go to two and try mix down. So I'm gonna start with one and look at that. It's synchronized perfectly, okay? If this doesn't work, another thing that you can do is create a new sequence. Um, so you can come up to file, press new uh, sequence then you can title this synchronize. Um, for example, I would control copy um, this into the new sequence and paste it. And now I have you know, this video where I can try again to right click, come up, press synchronize. It will process the audio. It might take a little bit depending on the computer that you're on. There is another software that I do recommend that I've used in the past called Pluralize by Red Giant. This will allow you to dump all your audio, all your video, um, whether you have one camera angle, two or three, uh, you're shooting a podcast, high quality audio that you need to replace with the camera's audio, for example, um, you drop all of that in to the software, you press synchronize, it does everything for you, it synchronizes all your clips, saves you time, uh, it's completely hands-free, and then it exports a Premiere file that you can drop into your Premiere project so if you're constantly doing synchronization and you find that that's taking up a lot of your time, I do recommend investing, I think it's a couple hundred bucks, into something like Pluralize. I'm sure there are alternative options so that you can save some of your time there if this is a frustrating process for you. There's two other tips that I wanna leave you with if what I shared in this video doesn't work, one of which is creating a brand new project. So if you're having trouble synchronizing the audio, create a brand new project, then try to synchronize the audio in a brand new sequence, see if that works for you. Another is to actually bump the audio levels. A lot of times the synchronization doesn't work because the audio is too low um, and the audio waves aren't recognizable. So you could bring in that audio to a different um, software, let's say Adobe Audition, for example, bump up the audio levels, export it, bring it back. Now it might synchronize in Adobe Premiere Pro. And the final thing to do is do it manually, okay? So that involves actually visually looking at either the audio or the video and syncing it up. So those are just some extra tips that I wanted to leave you with. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like um, and drop a comment below on a future tutorial that you want to see. If you have a specific question for me, uh, the channel is so small at this point, I will get to every single question. Um, I'm having a lot of fun just sharing uh, tricks and tips that I use on a daily basis so that I can show them to team members um, and people underneath me to build a team and in the process share them with you um, so that you can learn what we do here at 8042. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and again I'm looking forward to seeing your ideas for tutorials in the comments below. Thanks for watching this far.